Alright, we back. I'm gonna go ahead downstairs and get some free breakfast. Hopefully, Dave is that down there waiting for me. Oh my god. That smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. She used a toothbrush. Still achieve it. Nobody in this town has a fucking clue as to what's happening. Do they? Good morning, Joyce. Rachel, uh, I, I mean Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. I can handle eggs and bacon. I should evolve and become a vegan, but oh, bacon. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Come on, Max, find those ingredients so we can chow down. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Bird, be gone. Fly, you fool. Can you help me get this bird out of here? I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. That's what they keep eggs though. Like, don't make no damn sense right now. Wowza. Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. Max, find those ingredients so we can chow down. Yeah, where else would you keep your eggs? They got an actual chicken coop about this bitch. Three dead birds lined up? That's fucking ominous. How these birds died. I wonder where the fuck the eggs are. That's what I wonder. Who drinks beer this early around here? Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. This is so fucking weird. David, this is Officer Corn. Just want to let you know your stepdaughter's car was identified near the black.
Blackwell campus last night, around the time of the break-in. What? Give me a call soon. Are you with me? Message deleted. Goodbye, message. I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Joyce looks so different in her street clothes. to the kitchen at this you would think they would be what the fuck the eggs always come first as Joyce used to say yeah, why would they be at the kitchen bitch what would the damn sense thanks after all these years and everything that's happened it's great to see you and Chloe together again she hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce. But we are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? God, I hope so. She was, is, smart. And she always landed on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. I guess nobody waters the plant here. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Thank you so much. Oh, man. I don't want to be famous for this. You can clean. Bring those eggs and bacon to my belly. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after the end. I know, Joyce. 
I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive. Everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else, Duck. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Nothing to see here. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Worst hacker ever. Naturally, David would buy it. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Nothing in it. There's no way Chloe can put that gun back now. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. I could try the license number for the password. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Now that the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Magic 8-Ball says no. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Such wrong. No way, Max. You do that. David has been dragging his head around since 2001?
Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. <sighs> Try again. No way, Matt. He's top. Worst hacker at home. Top. Score! Max the hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. I better tell Chloe about this now. Oh, it's just one more thing. Whoa. Spoiler alert, Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Listen! We don't know that David did anything, and nobody has any proof against him. As far as we know, it's Nathan Prescott who's the real so far. I would cut David slack here. Oh, would you? How generous, King Max. So suddenly it doesn't matter how shady David has been acting, or that he keeps all those weird files on your classmates, or how you're always going off on how creepy Enough. David is. I don't want anybody being accused of anything. There's been too much of that crap going on around here lately, and I don't want it in my home today. Well, I agree with that. Now, if you all don't mind, I'd like to forget about work and sit down and eat some of this incredible grub. I have to take a dump. Are you coming, Max? Maybe I went too easy on David for Joyce's sake. Thanks for letting me down again, Max. Why can't you just rewind so I don't have to see you defending that asshole?
Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything, for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? I hope not. Could be worse. We could get one of those California quakes. True. Well, I'm feeling a little dizzy now. Um, hope you catch the big one today. I better. Too late to switch careers now. See you around, kid. <laughs> 